Welcome back to Observer. It's time to head to the tattoo shop and see if we can find a lead on where Helena is. The wife of Amir, the person whose mind we went into right before they died. Wait, can I go back here? Oh, I can open the trash cans! I love this. What's inside? Nice. Those are definitely collectibles. Hey. Anybody home? Totally normal. Just a bunch of prosthetic parts hanging around. Wonder how getting a tattoo on a prosthesis works. <laughs> I like that there's, a, there's different things drawn on these books. Like, even if you find the same book. It's actually a bit different. Oh, I think the front the front of it's different too, isn't it? I think I showed like a healthy kid before. And this one shows one all modded up. Sickness and in health. Yeah, it looked like like when we were in the mind of a mirror. What we saw is first them at the tattoo shop, and it looks like the person in the tattoo shop was like marrying them in the tattoo shop. But then they were they were marrying them in a chapel or something like that. So perhaps they knew the person in the tattoo shop well, and they acted as the person to marry them. Seems like an awfully old-fashioned register, doesn't it? Not a big fan of paperwork or anything, huh? Oh, it's a computer. Collection of early 21st century body art. Sick tats. Hey man, saw some of the work you've done on my friend Dave, and I gotta tell you, that's some seriously wicked ink. I wanna get in on one of that. Or get in on one of that. <laughs> I wanna get in on some of that. I was thinking of doing an original design, maybe a skull with flames around it, but get this. The flames are actually like animated, and forming like a spider's web on my elbow. I know, pretty out there, but with your talent and my input, it ain't no thing. So, like, drop me a line whenever you can squeeze me in. I'm good for the money, too. I mean, I'm a bit short on cash, but you can take nutrient stamps, right? Again, love your work, man. Dope-ass ink. Special offer. I hope I got the right address. If this is not, in fact, the Jacked Ink Tattoo Parlor, please disregard this message. But if you are who I think you are, I was told by one of your former clients about your special line of tattoos. The high-end kind, if you catch my drift. My son would very much like to get one of those. In fact, he needs to get one immediately. I know it's expensive, but I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Please contact me as soon as you read this. Hmm. Interesting. Wonder what they were doing under the table here. Regarding payment. I know you told me not to contact you again, and I have deleted all our message history just like you asked. I only wanted to thank you once again for the work you've done on my wife. The statue turned out to be a thing of beauty. She literally cannot imagine life without it. You're a real lifesaver. Rest assured, I'll have the rest of the money delivered by the end of the week. These are more than just tattoos, aren't they? Oh, examples of the work they've done. Midway upon the journey of our life, I 
found myself within a forest dark, for the straightforward pathway had been lost. It is the seventh day of my forcefully imposed penance, and I can already attest without any doubt that this place is in fact hell. These people are dead, dead to the world. Their bodies still shuffle around their tiny apartments, but their minds are long gone. Is that from the shop owner, I presume? Is that Helena? That's Helena. Shit. My timing is really off today. Poor Helena. Lazarski, 656210. We have a third victim. Time of death, about an hour ago. Starting forensic analysis. So, did the monster catch up with them too? Probably. Let's see if we'll find some lacerating wounds. I don't... I see one on the head. Yeah, let's take a look. Let's look at wounds first. The victim's blood is mixed with ink. Elevated hormone levels. Oh, fuck. Don't tell me you... Pregnant? Shit. Multiple puncture wounds, a few inches deep. Weapon? Needle. Needle? They weren't killed by the monster, were they? Like, an ink? A tattooing needle or something, maybe? Gaping wound in her neck. Looks like something took a big bite out of her. Oh, never mind. Definitely monster. The Vic is one Helena Novak, wife of the previous victim, Amir Novak. Just more of their blood. That's more of that hair. Not human, not animal. Yeah, abnormal genetic structure. Wireless pedal. The size and shape of the needle are consistent with the puncture wound. Unregistered pre-war components detected. Unknown manufacturer. So used the tattoo machine as a murder weapon. Yeah, did that monster stab her with that as well as take a bite out of her? Or what? That seems bizarre. We got a match. So you call the dead man in Adam's apartment. The neural implants untouched. The trail goes cold. What the fuck did you think you'd find here? Hollow injector. Yeah, so this would be the more modern version of the tattoo gun, I guess, right? I'm guessing. This one's made by Chiron. Looks like it probably doesn't actually puncture the skin with any sort of a needle, but this is like a pre-war thing that isn't made by Chiron. That has an actual needle. What is that? 
pocket pocket indicate tattoo power supply them to leave those tapes all around. Oh. Can hack a thing there. Do that in a minute. Oh, cool. Oh, it moves. Nice. It's jointed, too. Cool. Or if I can like see something special through it. I don't know, is it like a black light? Maybe it could reveal something? I don't know. It's just kind of fun to move this thing around. <laughs> okay, I think that's it, so I should probably try to hack that thing. See if we can hack the whole thing outright. Nope. <laughs> Got one of them. Alright. Could be something on like a tattoo gun, possibly, but I'm thinking it's probably something viewed through that little thing. Do they mention anything here? I'm gonna look around. Okay, I kid you not, I've spent like 20 minutes searching for the code. I have no idea. I like I strongly suspect that it has something to do with this light here, because it's so manipulatable. I found out that not only can you manipulate, like, the end of it, it's, it's kind of hard to move sometimes, but you can also manipulate this little thing around, just spin it around. You can move this, it's kind of stuck right now. Turn it on and off, you can move the end. Come on. Eh. Anyway, yeah, it's really manipulatable, but it's like in such an awkward position, you can barely move it anywhere. It's stuck in the corner, and I don't know, like, I was thinking maybe I need to shine it on this and it reveals some something or maybe I need to shine it on the back here I don't know but I cannot get it to do anything useful I've shown I've shown it on this nothing appears I've looked around at all sorts of like random pieces of artwork for any numbers I can't find anything but I just went outside searching for stuff and I found that this here is now open. This was completely closed before. And this door is unlocked. And this very sturdy looking door is also unlocked and this is where I stopped. So let's see what's in here. The hell is this? Freezer room. Did I see someone run away? What if this could be the basement unit of the organ dealer? It's not in the basement, though. That was definitely footsteps. Low power.
the hell? Are they hiding behind these towers, or...? Is that me? I don't think so. Someone above? Hmm. Guess I won't worry about it. Maintenance access level one. Ooh. Oh. Can I hack anything? Follow the wires, I suppose. Oh, that's <laughs> that's the door. Oh, what's that back there? Oh, tried to pick it up and it just went everywhere. Oh, it's a power cord. Well, that'll help, huh? Come here. Server, uh, server console? Can I please actually look at it? There we go. Smoke sensors enabled, sure. Access, maintenance access enabled. I wonder if this has anything to do with the tattoo parlor. I doubt it. New version detected. No. Oh, do I have to? I guess. Uh, operating system. It's a Chiron. A Chiron. What? What is this? I don't know. What is the operating system? I wasn't expecting this to be a puzzle. Hey, I see ASCII art cats or something like that. My techo vision doesn't say anything. Should I just pick one at random? <laughs> um. This is a joke, isn't it? Freaking 56k. I mean, I could just try every version. Oh, there we go. It was the third one. That wasn't the whole purpose of this. Was it all just for that collectible? Oh no, that wasn't worth it at all. <laughs> Is that the entire purpose of this room? Is just for that little puzzle and the collectible? I could try turning off the smoke detectors, but I don't see what good that would do. Huh. What an odd little place. Just a server farm of some sort. Let's try turning off the smoke detectors. Just see what it does. Okay. I've made the place unsafe. Back to looking for that password. Warning. 
Attempting a necroneural connection is in direct violation of the Postmortem Observation Act of 2061. Authorization denied. Emergency override. Open maintenance panel. You've got to be kidding me. I thought you couldn't observe people that were dead. Right? And the reason I thought that, I think, is mainly because as soon as the... As soon as the first person I observed... Died. The one that was disemboweled and dying. As soon as they died, it kicked me out of their brain, right? I thought that's what happened. I thought the implication was that I can't go into their brain if they're dead. Which makes sense, right? Because, I mean... The, there's no neurons firing or anything. I, okay. This better be worth it. She's a junior programmer at Chiron. I guess this, this is their uh, office job memory. Loyalty are always appreciated. Please relax and answer as truthfully as you can. Do you want your homeland to thrive? Oh my god. So they don't even have actual human beings. Do the interviews. Yes. Do you want to make the world a better place? <laughs> yes. Do you want to live without fear? Yes. Do you want to establish a productive relationship with Chiron Incorporated? Sure. Will you cooperate? Press O. Will you comply? Press B. Will you conform? Press E. Press Y. The Republic is your mother. Chiron is your father. A mother's love is unconditional. A father's pride demands sacrifice. Are you willing to sacrifice for the greater good? Yes. Work. Productivity. Happiness. You will be happy. You will be productive. You will work towards the greater good. Will you obey? Yes. Finalizing subject assessment. Checking answers. Analyzing behavioral patterns. Evaluating life choices. Warning. Subject's spouse. Criminal record. Checking. No liability regarding current appointment. Point deduction minor. Warning ignored. Calculating score. my night vision or anything. Oh, I think I need to get over there. I, just, I can't see anything.
Oh. Slop again. It's called soup. Now dig in. It's not getting any better. Baby, you come here. Where'd my snake friend go? though. Oh, they only move when I move. Interesting. Can I use that somehow? I know that... It, yeah, it lights up sometimes. Do I need to be at it when it lights up, maybe? Yes. <laughs> Piles of bloody clothes in the fridge. <laughs> now that's just weird. Hmm. Can set a time. Guess I need to find what time to set it to. Ah. Patient card ready to print. Printing set to 3.20 a.m. Oh, we gotta go over to a.m. It's just a collectible. What did that say? Oh, it's in Polish. Amir, do you remember the night we met? Ha <laughs> ha! 
Hey, baby, I'm home. Elena really had laundry on the brain. Six. So Daniel's memories are mixing in. I'm not sure about this. Not sure. No. Didn't you hear? This this is great news. Let's take some more time to think about it. What is there to think about? You should be happy. Who says I'm not happy? This is your chance. Congratulations, you are now the proud owner of a CT-72 internal data storage. I've given you an accelerant to make the tissue heal faster. Just keep that dressing on for the next couple of days. You, uh, are you sure they won't find it? It's got a built-in scrambler in a shielded frame. No external scanning equipment can penetrate it. It's ghostware. Undetectable. Unless you know exactly where to look. So is this done by the tattoo person? Is that one of those important tattoos? What is this? The hell did you do to yourself? Don't even start. I did what I had to. It's about time someone around here showed some initiative. 
What's that supposed to mean? Oh, you don't know. useless I am. How I can't keep a job because no one will hire a fucking junkie ex-con. Amir. Do you even know what you're getting into? It's not like I have a choice. We need the money, Amir. Whatever it takes. Amir was an asshole. It's so wiggly. I love the way that wiggles. Is it weird that I want to touch it? Mark my words. That shit is gonna be the death of us. So when you're downloading from it, I remember one of the messages that I read somewhere saying that it should be undetectable unless somebody actually sees you doing it physically at the computer. Somebody found out somehow. Fail on a memory. Huh. Okay. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen a game over in this game. Oh, it's already there. Um, I'm s oh, I'm probably supposed to get behind it where it came from. I guess I should be careful. I could also just not be careful. I could I could just not be careful. Okay, not a good idea. Sometimes in horror games you can just run and like the monster can never really quite catch you. Doesn't seem to be the case here. Sort of. Where's our goal? Definitely not back the way we came. light on here. Do I need to get to that, like, computer? Or... Oh. This way. 
No, 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 not that way. Oh, yes, this way. Just need to crouch. Is that the monster that ended up coming for these people? It's got this, it's got a similar huffing sound and heavy stomp. Am I supposed to follow these? And it's back. Alright, I see one over there. Okay, where to now? Right here. Oh. Let's just hide here. Oh, do I need to uh, download from this computer? I think I do. Yes, it wasn't guiding me. Like a waypoint, it was just telling me I need to download from this one. Uh, none of them are active now, so I think I need to get out of here. By going somewhere, I don't know where. Oh, no, there's another one. Oh, it just teleports sometimes. I just saw it teleport. Cool looking. Oh, the whole house is starting to breathe. I'm assuming I'm going to get a game over if I get near it. Then again, I don't see what else I can do. This doesn't open. Just slap me back. Oh, I just touched something on the floor. I don't know what it was.
It moves with me. <laughs> cool. I think I need to unplug it. Come with me. That is bizarre, but really cool. It's... That's actually really cool. It's not only a thing I need to progress, but it's also my flashlight. Also, it sounds like a giggling kid, which is just extra bizarre. Oh, that opens it around the corner. Hmm? Uh, let me try taking this out. Now I can't interact with it at all. Why does it sound like... Babies and kids, and now they're coughing. Wait, what? Ooh, what the fuck? I think it closed because it detected this thing? So like if I just walk through it I think I'm fine? Without the thing? Yeah. Wow. Distortion's getting heavy. Jeez. Believe me. Oh. So I can leave it. What does that do? Did I just kill the baby TV? I think still doesn't want to let me through though. Jammed on the other side. Uh I feel like this thing's supposed to let me through. I guess I'll follow this line back? I don't know.
I'm sorry, I kind of killed you. What is all of this stuff, exactly? It's probably best if you don't know. Exactly. It's not anything nasty, is it? Like, a virus or some top-secret weapon type shit? <laughs> no. Nothing like that. What then? I mean, what could possibly be worth the risk? The future. I think that was Adam speaking. Telling me to watch out, I think. Back to normal. He said it's undetectable. Yeah, this game has some interesting ideas. That scene with the weird baby TV and all that. That was so bizarre, but really cool. I mean, I should be fine just kind of sprinting, right? Their field of view seems pretty small if the light is their field of view. Seem to be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. And make a break for it. Uh oh. Nope, not fine. Okay, I think I'm almost there again. It's like they're all watching. Yesterday, this executive creep gave me this look like I, I could just tell he knew. If they knew, we'd all be dead by now. Maybe they're just messing with our heads. And what purpose would that serve? I don't know. To get their fucking sadistic load off. That's not how they operate. Trust me. I was with the corporation long enough.
It didn't have to be this way. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, but two things I want to note before I do. One, cheesiness and silliness aside, I really like the uh, all the, the glitch art that this game has. They're really damn good at it, and there's so much of it. Just constant glitchy messes. It's really cool. I mean, it might look like a mess, but I'm sure a lot of work goes into making something be a mess. So I really appreciate that. And the other thing is, notice that Daniel said, I am in control. I am in control, sort of like a chant to themselves, because they're becoming desynchronized. And that just made me think of, remember what Adam said right at the very beginning? He said, remember, you are not in control. Just thought that was interesting. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to input the password into here. <laughs>